Padres and Cardinals at Petco Park. And from coast to coast, the 11th anniversary of September 11th being remembered and, of course, acknowledged on the base paths as we go to the bottom of the fourth. 2 nothing St. Louis. Adam Wainwright, though, in a bases-loaded jam. One away facing Yonder Alonso. Pitch just outside, so Alonso walks and Will Venable forced home, and it's a 2-1 game. Then the next batter is Logan Forsythe. Line drive left center field. That's up the alley. How far will it roll? One run scores. Here comes another on a double by Forsythe. The Padres take the lead three to two. But they weren't done. Two batters later, two on two out. Alexi Amarista at the play. Line drive, right field corner. Base hit. That's going to rattle around. One run scores. Racing is Maven. He's around third. Here comes a relay. It misses the relay man. Amaris in the third, and the Padres lead five to two. Amaris's fifth triple of the season. The Padres would score five in the frame and bat around against Wainwright in the fourth. Top of the fifth, Edinson Volkes gave up two runs early and in a two-on-one-out jam here, but able to strike out Yadier Molina swinging. Then David Fries cuts and misses on the high fastball to end the inning. Top seven, now 5-3 Padres. Brad Brock on facing Fries. And Freeze taking this one deep and over the wall for the solo homer, his 19th of the season, and it cuts the lead to 5-4. To the top of the eighth, Luke Gregerson with second and third, two out, facing Alan Craig, and able to get Craig to ground back to him. Throw to first in time that ends the frame. Padres would tack on an insurance run in the bottom of the inning, and they go on to win 6-4. Volquez wins despite tying a season high in walks with six. The Padres are now 20-7 and seven at home since July 16th and have won eight of their last nine series at Petco. And with the Dodgers losing, the Cardinals remain one game ahead of L.A. for the second NL wildcard spot.